Hello. Good evening. Tried to fake you out a minute ago, but we're back. We kind of did, didn't we? Yeah, we were there and then we weren't. Well, we realized we weren't on the Wi-Fi. And we were like, we need to get on the Wi-Fi. All right, we'll see. Oh, we have somebody. Hey, Amanda. Hi, hey, Amanda. How are you? How are you? Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the likes, everybody. All right. Um, we're a little early, earlier than normal. Like the sunlight to be able to show you some stuff today. Yeah, we wanted to be able to show you guys what was going on with the porch today. So we'll 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 give you guys a few minutes to come on. Hope you guys are doing okay. You guys all right? Those of you who might be in the path of that hurricane, man, that was a lot, wasn't it, Dee? Yes, it was. A hurricane. It really yeah. was. So just sad things that they discovered today. Oh yeah? I haven't watched any news today. So, rough areas and tips of South Carolina, North Carolina, North Georgia, Northeast Georgia. So. Well, such a, you know, it's such a, I think one of the hardest parts about, you know, the Carolinas don't really expect to get. Not that part. The coast will get a, a right. hurricane every now and then, right. but not, the, uh, right. not up in the mountains like that. Right. Kim is from Kentucky. Hey, Kim. Janine said, still no electricity at my house. Oh, oh Janine, bless you. Goodness gracious. Teresa said, howdy from still dreary Indiana. Yeah. Is it overcast where you are? Denise said, praying for all who are affected. What a disaster. It has been a mess. Right? So hard. Oh, my goodness. Rebecca said 120 people have died? Yeah, they've, they've found several more today. Oh, I did not know and that. They, they anticipate finding more as they clean up debris. Mm. So it's, it's kind of a sad situation. That is so hard, you guys. So hard. Woo. It seems kind of silly to show you guys our back porch when you know that people are struggling like that. It's just so hard. Mm. Well, um, Diana said my brother in North Carolina just got power back last night. Good. That is good. All right. Hey, Cindy from the Adventures of Jesse. How are you? Um, Shelly said it's crazy how the rain came all the way to Michigan. Wow. Mm-hmm. Teresa said, yes, still have clouds from Hurricane Hoping gone by tomorrow. I um, think our clouds will be gone, too. We've, we've had a gray overcast day as well. No rain. It's mm -hmm. just been gray and overcast. Yeah. So I think tomorrow the sun, sun's actually trying to peek through now. Actually, I know. I was just thinking we haven't, usually we have a really pretty sunset, you know, kind of over here by the church. And I think for the first time today, I'm seeing the sun so, a little bit. You so can just, you can show the trees right here. You can show the sun hitting yeah. the trees. Behind yeah, us. behind uh, us. Or right there. Right yeah. here, just we got the sun. See the sun shining through there? Yeah. From on the other yep. side. From across the street. So Shirley said, brother in Virginia with no power. <sighs> that is hard being without power for sure. I have a really sweet friend, really dear old friend, one of my oldest friends, Connie, and she, um, she's in South Carolina, and she is, she, she has power now. She didn't have power, and she lives, she has this sweet little farm, and she said the winds just came and just, like, plucked these ginormous oaks right out of the ground, like, like they were nothing. So, so she lives between like Clemson and the um, uh, state line. So she lives west of Clemson, mm -hmm. kind of up in the hills there. Beautiful little farm. Yeah. Susie said that, was it Augusta, Susie? Is that what you said? You have a cousin who lives in Augusta and still has no power. Mm. That is so, that's so hard. We were without power, what, a week? Yeah. We told you guys we were, we were without power for a week and we took a bath in the baptismal font. Don't tell anybody. We don't tell everybody, but we just told y'all. 
Um, Pamela said, son in Florida, now homeless. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Must have been in the Big Bend area someplace, huh? That's so hard. Debbie said, um, prayers needed for North Carolina, my home state, family members that live in Asheville. Asheville. Asheville, yeah. you guys, when we were visiting my brother in Tennessee, we were watching the news, and Daryl and I had been to Asheville to the... What uh, house? Biltmore, Biltmore. To the Biltmore. To the Biltmore. Yeah. And I could not believe the street. It was, well, oh my goodness. We could recognize what street it was, but it was just yeah. way steep. Okay, Rita says her power was off for 64 hours. My daughter still doesn't have power. Gracious. Glenda said no power in North Carolina, but grateful. Oh my goodness. Sharon said, my brother-in-law lives in Anderson, South Carolina, and it has been devastated. Oh my goodness. So hard, everybody. Yeah. Niece in Asheville lost everything. She's pregnant. No water, electricity. It will take months for them. Them Can't even wash hands. Oh, it's so hard. And I don't know if you've been watching the news of the, the bad things that happened today in Atlanta, and they're having to evacuate like a 50 mile radius of that plant. It's a chlorine plant that has um, caught fire and um, they're getting people away from it. It's not that it's a, um, it's not that you'll die from it. It's just gonna be very irritating and, and it may right. cause permanent damage to lungs, but you know, they're trying to get people away from that, so. So hard, you guys, so hard, just, I know that we've been praying for everyone. Yes. So, anyway, hard stuff, you guys. Um, we just wanted to come on and just um, say hello tonight. And like I said, it feels kind of silly to talk about a back porch and when so many people are having such a hard, hard time. Um, so, I don't even know how I feel about it. Should we show you guys the porch? Do you want to see that? We had some, We Clint came today and he worked really, really hard. Um, so I love to show you guys what he's done. But um, like I said, it just feels a little silly to show a, a back porch when so many people are suffering so much. So Joyce, our sweet friend said, hi, sweet Miss Annie and Daryl, my friend in South Carolina who I went to college has had no power or water since ever started. since it started mm -hmm. that's so hard it's so hard okay all right they, they i think we are it. we are going to show you guys all right we're going to show you guys the porch and um show you what clint's been up to today he and kenzie so we were talking about that this this pile do you guys remember it was such a big pile of wood and it's getting smaller and smaller, smaller. and he's scraps like a, our bigger. scraps are getting bigger and bigger but a lot of all most of this wood right here is all that old wood that is absolutely going to be salvaged but look at this porch you guys so remember that he poured this concrete right here this concrete pad and then these steps. He poured that on Friday. Right? Poured this Friday? Yeah. Okay. And these steps match the front steps. And so they're so smooth and so nice. I just love them. Do you love them, Dee? I do. Uh, it's yeah. just amazing. I love the width. I love how it goes. It, you know, it gives us access to that. You don't have you don't have to go around the pole you can just go right over to that part of the deck mm -hmm. so the other thing that you know so they they built these steps today and then then they enclosed all of this so that no little critters could get back in there so you know just they had to notch out all of that and they just did all that and then he added this top um 
I don't know what you call that trim, right? So it matches down here. So he'll be putting all of that trim on the rest of them at the top. Um, Kenzie's going to be taking down the fan, Daryl. Oh, she is. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, okay. And then there's this old, look at this old electrical wire, y'all, right here. It goes to nothing, but that's just the old, there was a light there, so that's going to be coming down. Um, I think Clint said he's going to start putting in the ceiling part right here and um, just working on all the trim. But anyway, I, I just love the steps. So you wanna hold that? Um, what about where water lines are? Did they enclose that? Okay, so if you look up here, so this is where the water lines were and are, but then he put insulation around them and then there'll be a ceiling behind that. Right, Dee? Yep. yep. And and that'll, this pipe right here will all be enclosed as well. Yeah, all of this is going to be enclosed. And then um, he said the new door should get here maybe tomorrow. What's today? Is today just Monday. Monday? Feels like it's... Tomorrow or Wednesday the new door comes. And when the new door comes, then all of this new siding can be done. So, um, and then we're going to put a hanging light right here and all of that will be just all finished up. So, um, so anyway, we love it. So my favorite thing is the steps. Yeah. Here, hold this for a minute. I'm going to show you guys, like, look. speak up a little bit they're just really easy steps to come up yeah becky we, we can't believe the difference either it okay. feels so much bigger open like this just yeah you know really so we'll turn around a little bit it's hard to imagine unless you're here but like it's really opened everything up and like daryl said it just feels so much bigger yeah yeah so super excited, super excited. Thank you guys saying, I love the porch. Sue said, I love the porch. I love that the steps aren't high. Yeah. That's exactly right. They're not, they're not high. Good thing you're almost done with the porch. Good thing you're almost done with the, yes. Will you put fans out on the porch? We have been talking with Clint about the kind of fans that we are needing or would like to have. So we're going to, just kind of talk a little bit more about that. Sharon said it looks so good. Sue says she loves it. Glenda said so happy for you guys. Michael McDaniel Hay said it looks so good. It's a big difference. Yes. Yes. Well then, um, also today, I'm gonna take you guys inside. Vince came with Cottage Supply and they, Listen, we love Cottage Supply, and we will talk about them until the cows come home <laughs> because you guys know this kitchen was a hot mess as yeah. far as just the floor, and you guys remember what the kitchen was like. And so while it was a beautiful kitchen in the 90s, we wanted to just change it around and update it and make things fresh and new. Yeah. And so Cottage Supply worked with us and they have been amazing. And so, like I said, we will talk about them until the cows come home because they're a small business. There's, they only have five little stores and they work so hard. So today, Vince came out and he put in all of our extras. So, so do you want to hold I'm it? I'm gonna turn this around and Miss Annie okay. promises she's gonna speak up really loud. Okay. She's gonna almost yell at me so you guys can hear. Okay. So, 
look at this little extra right here. So they put in, he put in these little All markers. these dividers into the big drawer. So yeah. all the, the utensil, drawer. utensil, utensil drawer. Look big, how, big utensil drawer. Look how organized it is. Yes. Love it so much. And then, you know, then what we did is we, it's like we're moving in finally. So we put our other big spoons and whisk and everything, my little hamburger, you know, cooker thing. Um, we put all of our big stuff right here. So we love that. And then over here, this is um, all of our spices. Our spice drawer. And I love how this is, and of course we have our y'all brands, but all of our spices really are at the office because we still have boxes. Oh, at the that's office. right. <laughs> We're almost ready to bring our pantry back here, aren't right. we? So the pantry has been at the office this whole time, but we, we've had just our basic. Um, but look how neat this is, you guys. So this is, I don't know if you want to kind of zoom in on this because some people may not know. So it's just um, these great little risers, if you will, that help you to kind of be able to see all of your spices. So love that. We love our y'all brands, little spices. And then right here is our utensil drawer. And like, I'm loving this so much. It's a beautiful divider. I, I think it's amazing looking to me. Isn't this great? Yeah. So. I know, I love it so much. And then right this, I didn't even know this was, I did not even know this was a thing. Okay, look. So this is for your knives. We might need to get some more knives. But. I think we're gonna have to update our steak knives, so. <laughs> So we, anyway, we, we've got some bigger knives bigger over knives here over that here. really don't fit in these dividers. Do they not? Well, that is the only one. Oh, this is the only yeah, one? Yeah, okay. out, out of that group. Okay. So. All right. So there's that. And then. There's even more. There's more. Oh, yeah. And then we have, and then he put these in to hold. Let me get over here so you can see the other side. Yeah. So we put these in to hold this. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. That's so great. So anyway, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, all right. There's been a few questions go by about the uh, wood shop. Um, I think we're still a few weeks away from getting it started. Mm -hmm. We're still working out a few of the details. So yeah, working out some of the details. Um, yeah, we got this porch. But it doesn't keep me from daydreaming about projects that I'm going to do. <laughs> think about it all the time. Yeah, Pam said, "Oh my gosh, a knife drawer!" Right? I did not know there was a, such a thing as a knife drawer. Yeah, really. Dana says, Rada or Rada knives are the best quality oh. at a great price. Yes, mm -hmm. they are. And when we first started being Miss Annie and Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen and, and D, they sent us some just out of the blue. They sent us those knives for us to use. So nice. Wanda said, upscale. I know, right? I, we, I've never been this. We are fancy. We are. And it's, We're just simple people all of a sudden getting some pretty cool things. <laughs> This is Cottage Supply, just, you know, they they just have been so generous and so kind, and they have been amazing to work with. So if you are in the Birmingham area or Tuscaloosa, and or if you guys just want ideas, and if you live all over the country, if you just go to their Facebook or Instagram, you can see all of the pictures of all the projects that they do. So it's amazing. Um, There's the question, the $100 question. Glenda, you get $100 tonight for asking about the table. <laughs> it's still, oh, Linda asked too. It's still in pieces and parts right next door. Right. I actually came home with the intentions to get things done. And well, you're still going to do it, right? I, I am going to do it. He yes. had Clint cut something that he needed. You had to have him cut something. Yeah. 
And um, so anyway, I thought before we got on the live, I was like, here, honey, we should just sit down. I was, um, I was thinking Daryl was gonna just finish that table and then we were gonna get on the live. But then he said he was gonna put the legs on and he was gonna have to glue it or something. Right. And we wouldn't be able to turn the table over. So I still have faith that you're gonna get those legs on so that we can turn the table over tomorrow, right? So we can show them tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I think you're gonna be able to do it, right? We I might. think you'll be able to do it. We'll um, it. So anyway, that is the scoop with that. But, so he had Clint cut something that you needed to have cut, and so it should be. Oh, wow. Should be able Pete, to do that. Pete Rose died today, and. Pete Rose um, died today. I can't pronounce his name. Tecumbo? Tecumbo? Uh, anyway, NBA player. Oh. The, the guy that waved his finger. Uh, Macumbo? Oh, uh, oh I'm yeah. destroying his name, but yeah. he, he's a Hall of Famer, so. He passed away from brain cancer today. I didn't realize Pete Rose passed away oh. as well. Mm. Oh. Um, do y'all have curtains up yet? Well, yes and no. We have curtains in our room. We have one set. <laughs> we have one set like in each room. Yeah. That, listen, we've been talking about that. That's something that needs to get done too, doesn't it? It does. And Daryl was hoping this week was going to be the week. So we'll see. We're hoping. Um, I actually have been working on a project today. You can see I've got paint on my hands. I'm working on a project, not done with it yet. So I thought that maybe tomorrow I could show you guys that and Daryl could show you the table tomorrow. Um, oh, Karen said Chris Christopherson died too. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Um, I loved his music. I loved his voice. It was really, to me, it was kind of cool. So. Yes. Um, Terry said, you look tired this evening. A little bit. Daryl hadn't had his nap yet, you guys. Mm -hmm. He hasn't had his nap yet. And we kind of were like, Clint was still here. You needed him to cut something. Then we didn't want it to get too dark before we showed you guys the back porch. But I just felt like we had to come on and just show that to you guys because... The work Vince did today and yeah. Clint did today, we are just so, so grateful. Um, hey, Debbie. It's good to have you tonight. Oh, is Debbie here? Hey, yeah. Deb. Hey, Deb. Um, they like your beard and your stash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Daryl can grow a beard pretty fast. Okay, did you guys see that we got to go? We went to Tennessee. And we had to kind of keep that a secret because my brother did not know that we were all coming. So we were all watching the hurricane and my mom was in Florida, my brother Tom was in Florida, sister Angela was in Florida and they flew to Tennessee. And so um, we didn't know if we were gonna actually be able to pull it off, but we were able to surprise him. And he was completely shocked. It was so cool. It was so cool. Anyway, my- Deke That's it. Can you pronounce that? Dikembe Matumbo. Matumbo. Yeah. Bo Matumbo. Yeah. His, his signature thing, he was like 7'2", and nobody could score on him. And when he blocked him, he would shake his finger in your face. So, oh, is that right? Yeah, uh, he was from Africa. I don't think he played any college ball. I think he just came from Africa. And Mm -hmm. was drafted and played for the Houston Rockets, I think, all of his career. I, mm -hmm. I don't know, but I think he did, so. Yeah. So Nancy said, you painting the fireplace? I might be. Mm -hmm. I might be. Um, Carol said, did your brother have any floods where he lives? No. No, he didn't. He lives in Clarksville. So, so. northwest of Nashville. So. Mm -hmm. And he's the best guy, you guys. He just, he just tells it like it is. He has the best stories. He has the biggest heart. And he's been, his job, he has been putting, installing garage doors for 40 years. 40 years. 40 years. And he just turned 60. And he still puts in 
what did he say, two garage doors a day? Yeah, at least. Yeah, which means he like lifts those things and puts them up and he is as strong as an ox. He's so, he's just so wonderful. Yeah. Love him. And then my brother Tom was there and I can't believe it, but we didn't take a picture. Of the as, well, as siblings, we oh, didn't even take a big group with my yeah, mom. Yeah. I can't believe we didn't do that. Um, Deb said, Annie, I feel about Daryl Paul the same way you feel about Mark. Oh, that is so sweet. sweet. That is so very sweet. sweet. It was really nice to be with them. It was too short. It was too short. We just were with them Saturday. All day Saturday, we met for breakfast, surprised him at Cracker Barrel, and he was wondering why we were there. Yeah, like, <laughs> busiest place in town. Why are you taking me there? Because we went to that breakfast place, which I posted about yesterday, which is yeah, closer where closer she is. Him. And he's like, we, anyway, he likes that family restaurant, but it was, it was wonderful to, um, wonderful to be with him for sure. Joan said, my brother Mark is a sweetheart too. There must be something about the name. Marks. My brother Mark was named after my mom's dad. Yeah. His name was Mark. So, Wilma said, I had a wonderful brother, too. Very blessed that he was the oldest, and I am the youngest of 12. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Um, Beth said, so glad you got to go surprise your brother. It really was wonderful. Yeah. Linda said, Asheville said they have lost over 409 <laughs> businesses. Yeah. Devastating. They, they have been devastating. Oh. I haven't heard how the Biltmore is doing the, the actual house. I would assume where it's located on top of that hill that there would be no problems out there. But uh, Cheryl said, come visit us in Scotland. Wow. Yes. Would love to. I want to go to Scotland. How cool is that? We should put that on our vision bucket board. list, on our vision, vision board. Both. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I Somebody asked about Mimi, wondering how she is. And so we did reach out to her, our office, Angela at the office reached out and the Mimi did not lose power. So she had power, but oh, everybody else did not. Sharon said she is safe. Are you talking about Mimi? Good. So. Everyone is saying Mimi is safe. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, she did a video today. Okay, oh, good. good, good. Yeah. I haven't seen, haven't seen that yet today. Um, Nan, Farm Cooking with Nan, um, looks like they really, really, they have a lot going on there. Do they? Um, honestly, I reached out to her. I texted her. I have her number and did not hear back. And so I kind of wonder if they have power or not, or, I mean, she is. Well, everybody's saying that the Biltmore did get flooded. Biltmore wow. got flooded. What a be beautiful home. I don't know if you've had a chance to go see it, but we mm. we did, and we were just floored. Yeah, we, we went to the Biltmore a couple years ago. Okay, everyone's saying that Mimi posted today. I'm so glad. Yeah. Biltmore Village is totally flooded out. Wow. 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 Sharon said, I have a wonderful brother, too. We have the best times when we meet for lunch at least twice a month. Nice. Oh, Good job. that's so nice. He is the music um, of our church. Such a funny guy. Never meets a stranger. Sounds like a wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, Lauren said, are you making pumpkin bread tonight? Actually, I am not because I made a double batch last night. And I wasn't sure how much... Okay, that's what I was wondering. The Biltmore is not damaged, but the village is. Okay. Most every shop is damaged. Yeah, down, down in the village by the river. Don't they have a river? I guess they do have a river going through Asheville, so yeah. Mm. Somebody said that their daughter lives in Asheville, Patricia, and lost everything. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. You guys, you know what? I haven't seen, like, where to donate or how to do that. There are locations that they were advertising today on the radio and the local station, so okay. I'll, I'll uh, get that to you. Um, Jamie said, is Farm Cooking with Nan still on Facebook? She is. She is, and she's wonderful. Love her. She came last. Um, she came to our influencer 
um, thing a year ago and she was amazing. Cindy said, Nan has been posting, she's in Irwin, Tennessee, where they were airlifted from the hospital. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, Deb said, we need to meet for lunch twice a week. Come on down, Deb. <laughs> that we'll would, do that. That would be good. Um, yeah. All right, let's see. Nancy said, the Biltmore Hotel flooded, not Biltmore House. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. Dee said, did you make pumpkin bread today, Dee? She said, I, I think I have your recipe memorized. <laughs> Let me just tell you, that is, I'm so glad you guys are trying that pumpkin bread. It is a great, great recipe. Um, so Kimmy was able to get in touch with Nan. Mm -hmm. Good. They lost their barns, it said, and fences, but everyone and the animals are in no power. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys, we love these sweet influencers. They are so wonderful. Tris said, donate to Samaritan's sure. Purse. Check it out. Okay. okay. Um, but he said, yes, she has had major damage where she lives. Her house is okay, but did some damage to the farm. Okay. Margaret said, where are you located? We are in Columbiana, Alabama. Gaynell, hey Gaynell. Um, Nan's town was hit hard. Yes, for sure. Beth said, my boss's daughter is the assistant curator at Biltmore House. They are higher up, so doing okay. Okay, good. That's, That's good. what I was thinking. Because, right, the village, yes, because down, we've been yeah, there, yeah. the Biltmore House was higher, and um, the village is down lower, for sure. Uh, Judy said, I made your pumpkin bread and shared it at church on Sunday. I'm so glad. Um, Star said she's just hopping on. Hey, Star. Star, you'll have to go back and watch the live because we just showed what the back porch looks like. It's awesome. So, um, Janet said my granddaughter has made your pumpkin bread twice. No. It's good, good stuff, you guys. And did you guys see my mom? My mom and my sister. I know you guys love my mom, so it was so good to see her, too. She, um... She was able to come and we actually stayed in a hotel because of course my brother did not know we were coming so we all stayed in a hotel. So mom was right next door to our room and anyway, we just got to hang out with mom and see her, so sweet. Um, all right, Andrew said, Samaritan Purse came to our little town in 2016, amazing boots on the ground, in the mud, ruined homes. They worked with, um, with you, prayed with you, amazing. Mm, I wonderful. love it, that's so wonderful. Hi, Martha from Arizona. All right, you guys, um, I don't know, do you, Daryl's gotta get to the table, right, sir? <laughs> yeah, He's I like, know. what time is it? It's, mm. it's 10 till seven our time. Maybe you need a little 10 or 15 minute nap. Maybe. Then what do you think? You can you can get on there. So Jan said, Daryl's pumpkin crunch dump cake is wonderful. Doesn't that taste cool? Right, that, Jan? That, that was good. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have to go check out that recipe or go back and watch Daryl's video of it. It was so good. And it was a recipe that one of our- Kim. Kim Kubik. Kubik. Kubik sent, so good. And then yesterday, which went up today, was that buffalo um, dip, buffalo ranch, buffalo ranch chicken dip. Chicken dip, yep. So good, yeah. so good. Becky said you need a nap first. Oh, Becky, you're my friend, thank you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yes, Jenny, go back and watch. Go back and watch so you can see the porch. Sandra said, where does your mom live? My mom lives like south of Jacksonville in a town called Flagler Beach. She lives in Flagler Beach. Um, so, Trisha said that they were spared. I'm so glad. Um, Becky said, y'all leave Dee alone about that table. <laughs> right? Actually, we really do need to try and get it done this week, we for do. sure. We do. I so I, I think you're points. gonna get it. I think you're gonna get it. It's gonna be all right. Yes. Um, Matthew of the Barefoot Neighbor has information on how to help. Check out his latest video on okay. the subject. 
perfect. He's wonderful. Met him too. All right, you guys, we love you so, so much. Thank you for just popping on and supporting and loving us. Um, continued prayers for those who have been affected by this hurricane. So, so hard. So yes. hard, you guys. So, um, just know that we just love you and we'll be, we'll be checking out and seeing where you can make donations to and what can, what can be done. All right. And Donnie, we'll keep your son in our prayers as well. Okay. So he is going in for surgery tomorrow, if I understood correctly. Okay. So. All right, you guys. Love you so much. Have a wonderful night. And we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll show you that table. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye.